All right guys, testing out the new Quest Bar flavor. Oatmeal chocolate chip macros are eight fat, 22 carb, 15 grams of fiber, 20 grams of protein. So I'm gonna try just a little bit of it, just take a bite of it, bite out of it, and then heat some up in the microwave. Oh, that's actually really good. It tastes like an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. It has like the cinnamon in it. So I'm gonna heat this up, throw some peanut butter on there and yeah. All right, heat it up, threw some peanut butter on there. And if you're wondering what the yellow stuff is, that's just Pam spray. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this up and then gotta get to the gym. We are hitting deadlifts today, so stay tuned for some of those workout clips. So good. There was a lot of a lot of mixed reviews on this bar. Like some people love it, some people not so much, but I definitely this is like in my top five, so I would almost put this above uh the normal cookie dough one, but alright. Gym time. Also, already did 20 minutes of cardio this morning. Then I had like, uh, like a four hour, no, it was a s eight hour class today. So I'm a little bit fatigued, but we're gonna get it done. We have made it to the gym, all blacked out, and gonna roll out for a little bit because my hip flexors are pretty tight, but then we're gonna get right into it. Bunch of supersets today, just to get the heart rate up and get sweating, so let's get to it. All right, doing deadlifts, and the leg press with the bands, resistance, and some explosive functional training stuff, so I'll show you guys little clips of these. So I'm doing like a little superset circuit of these, so five reps, deadlifts at, let's see, 275, but I think I'll keep bumping up the weight until my form kind of breaks down. Alright, so with the bands here, it will um, provide constant tension, so as you're bringing the weight down, um, the bands are going to be pulling the weight, so you have to control it that way, and then as you're pushing up, it's uh, you're going into the resistance, so throughout the whole movement, you're getting resistance there. And then on the last five reps, I hold it at the bottom, so I bring it down, hold it at the bottom, and five second count out. So I'll do eight reps normal, eight controlled reps, and then the last five reps I'll do um, where I do a five second uh, concentric movement. All right, I'll probably keep it at that weight just because it was a little bit challenging, so. 285, probably do. Can't breathe. Like three more rounds of this. All right, eight controlled reps. And I do wider leg stance just to hit more hamstring and glutes and drive through with my heels. And 
within the five second five second hold. So come down and one, two, three, four, five. Give me that five times. Burns so bad. So it's important too, once you get to the bottom, not to explode up right away, kind of control, five second control out of that position. All right, so for this last set of deadlifts, gonna do a drop set. So I'll do five with 285, then strip the weight, do as many as I can, strip it one more time, as many reps as I can get. One thirty five. Can't feel my ass. Sixteen. Oh, terrible. <laughs> All right, moving on to accessory movements. Uh, I'm gonna be doing stiff leg deadlifts with the Versa grips because I'm not trying to work on my grip, just solely trying to isolate the hamstrings. So if you want to bring up your hamstrings, straight leg deadlifts is a great accessory movement. And then, so I'm going to be doing that and um, walking lunges, like pulsing ones, I'll show you, but um, trying to hit more of the glute, so taking a longer stride and then um, kind of pulsing at the bottom. But uh, that circuit killed me. I almost thought I was gonna puke. So, like my butt is just shaking. My legs are shaking right now. That doesn't usually happen. So, good stuff. On to the next. All right, so I'm gonna show you a common mistake I see with the straight leg deadlift. All right, so first off, your foot placement. So, with a regular deadlift, You'll be coming up with the bar like so, but for the straight leg deadlift, I like to place the bar kind of right at my midfoot and pull from there. All right, so for the simple leg deadlift, like I said, having the bar at kind of like your midfoot, pushing your butt back and um, controlling the weight down. I don't like to touch the weight to the floor because then you lose that tightness in your hamstrings. So uh, going until you feel a stretch, then coming up, pulling, pushing through with your butt and your hamstrings. And in the wrong way, some people I see they have the bar way too far out, and then they're just like slam, they're pulling from that position, which is, that's like purely on your low back. And then they're slamming the weight, and it, that's just a pointless movement, so. The stiff leg deadlift is supposed to be controlled and trying to isolate the hamstrings and the glutes, so. Amazing workout. I'm exhausted. Now, out for leg days, I'd love to just be in a hoodie and leggings and just sweat my butt off. But yeah, it is time to go feast. Stuff my face with a bunch of carbs. Um, maybe I'll show you guys. I don't know. It's nothing too extraordinary. So all I've had today is oatmeal and um, my, typical, my typical breakfast. So oatmeal and um, scrambled eggs. Um, and then I had that Quest Bar. So that's... All I've eaten today and it is almost 7.30. Yeah, so yeah, I was like getting a little bit lightheaded. That was not good, but finished it out strong. I'm, I was tired, but liking my Snapchat this morning. If you're not following me on Snapchat, do so. Very active. It's a good time. 
My name is Leanna Morrow, all one word, all lowercase, if that even matters. But yeah, so I was saying, start the day off with a great mindset. Tell yourself that you're going to have a great day, and you will. I promise you that. So, even though I was tired, I was like, you know what, let's go kill this workout. And we did. So, going to get home, going to take a cold shower. I can't even remember the last time I've taken a, a warm shower. It's crazy. I love it though. So, cold shower, lots of rice, lots of refried beans, lots of oatmeal. So that's basically what I'm going to have is a uh, tortilla, a little Mexicane meal, tortilla, rice, beans, chicken, and an oatmeal cream pie. No, just like a little oatmeal fun dessert dish. So... I'm delusional right now. All right, I'll, maybe I'll see you, yeah, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys at least my oatmeal, my little oatmeal bowl I've been making. <sighs> I made it once, my last refeed day. I don't even know what I'm saying. Instead of using, if you watch my last refeed video, I use like a Betty Cracker, but I'm eliminating that, keeping it a little even cleaner. Trying to get the shreds, people, so we're keeping it clean here. So yeah, oh my god, I don't think I can drive. All right, I'll see you guys um, at, at that next meal. I'll see you guys at the next meal. Thank you for checking out the video. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you enjoyed the leg training, the booty shots, all that good stuff. So I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, finally regained consciousness. Got some food in me. And so, for my post-workout meal, I had, let's see, whole lot of rice, whole lot of chicken, whole lot of refried beans, a little bit of sweet potato, and um, one tortilla. So that was like my main meal, which really filled me up. It was so good, much needed. And now, I'm having this oatmeal dish. So, basically, all this is... Oh, it's hot. All right, so oats, pumpkin, protein powder. That's all that's in this. And PB2. So all that mixed with some mini chocolate chips. Threw some peanut butter on the top. Gonna throw some Cool Whip on the top. And yeah, this will probably be my last meal. I'll throw the macros up for this little dessert, which is it's gonna be pretty high in um carbs moderate fat moderate protein so yes thank you guys for checking out the video hope you liked it give it a thumbs up and i will see you in the next one you can keep talking i need okay. sunglasses to keep in my car so the sun's so bright I when i drive home sometimes so good And then I got these rings.